So you have like 2,000 words of text and you want to scroll those. How can we accomplish that in Canva? So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go here into my first one. I am going to go down some. Oh, I left that E. I'm just going to delete that right there. And I'm going to make a little space in the top. And then what I want to do is go down to the bottom and do the same thing. So I want to go enter, enter, just a few, because I'm going to need that to make it disappear off the page. So when I do that, if you see, and I go all the way up, I still have my purple line on my page. If you take it completely off, you'll lose your text. It'll just delete it. So we need to have that little bit of space at the top and the bottom to start our scroll. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and you see there is no text. I'm going to go over into animate. I'm going to click the little bumblebee symbol here and I'm going to click on that. I am going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to take, because I have a lot of text, I'm going to take this and reduce it all the way down. So I have as much room to move upwards and downwards as possible. I am going to grab here, hold my shift key, and then I'm going to scroll all the way up until my text is completely off the page. Then we can move it up so we can look at it. And then what I want to do is turn the speed all the way down. I am going to put it on steady to make it look steady. And see how fast it's going? Now I'm going to show you how to slow it down. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to stretch it out. I'm going back into my animate tab. Oh, hold on. I'm going to push my position first. And then I'm going to hit the custom. And see how when I stretched it out, it kept it going fast. I'm going to turn, keep turning that speed down. And then I'm going to look at my text. And if it still looks like it's too fast, keep stretching your timing out. Go back into your animate page. It wants to do the whole page. Stop. Canva's made some updates and it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt. But if you've been in Canva enough, you know. So we're going to go into Canva and to animate and go and keep slowing that down. And then you're just going to slow it down till you like it. Let's make it bigger so y'all can see. And see, and now you have that going at maybe an acceptable rate and you can just do that and keep stretching out. Now when you get to the end you might have a blank space like so. If you do that just download this as a mp4, bring it back in and then chop out your your dead space that's going to be at the end. So see we're going to get here once it gets to the top you're going to have a little bit of a dead space. And then when you bring it back in you can just go and split the page and delete that little piece right there. The other thing, the other problem is, so say you want it in a, let's grab it, let's go in a position, grab it, and say you want it thinner, which is going to make it longer. So I'm going to take that animation off, I'm going to delete the path, I'm going to bring it down, let's try to animate, delete path, let's get out of the animation, let's bring it down all the way, like so bring it here and try it again. Now, if you do it like that, where you may be putting it on the side where you have a photo or a video running or something while you're doing that, the problem with that is, let's bring this side a little bit more so I can make sure those words are off the page when I start. And the problem you're going to run into that way, if you have a lot of text is let's go and animate and I will show you. So I'm going to click the bumblebee. I'm going to hold my shift key down to keep it as steady as possible going straight up. But if you notice, oh, I'm sorry, my dog is hitting my arm. All right, so let's try again. We're going to go upward like so. But if you see, I start running out of room off of the top of the, my computer. So I can't go all the way up. So just keep that in mind. If you have something like that, you will not make it through all of your text. Um, I can slow the speed down, I can make it steady, but at the same time, you're not going to be able to go through everything because you're going to run out of room on your computer screen. You're going to hit the top and you can't go any further. 
So if you do something like that and you know you might want to break it up into two sections as a scroll and do half on one page and half on another, um, that would be my recommendation. Um, or maybe if you're doing something like you want to do credits on the end, what I would do is kind of let's just have like something scrolling here. Uh, have your first scroll. Have some cool like little animated elements. I'm just gonna. I like dogs. Dog. Uh, something animated. And just put something maybe like this. We'll drag that across, and then. You can have a little one like that, and then you can have the next section come through if you're doing something like that. I mean, I know you all make it more cinematic and beauty, beauty, more, more beautiful, but at the same time, that's just some way you can do it. Because, like, here, you're just going to lose it at the end because it's just too much text. So that's 2,000 words. And as, as we see, if we go into position and look at it and bring it down, it is just way too long. You know, if I come up with anything else, I will make a video and let y'all know if there's an easier, better way to do this. Maybe at some point, Canva will kind of put something in there. Um, but that's it for this one. And I hope for the person I made this for, I kind of answered the question they were asking. I love you guys. And I will hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.